Hey guys, it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely, and today is the second part of our series of building a bridal arrangement. That's not the right one. My bird is fried. It, I'm tired. I want to go to bed, but I'm going to get this done. Let's wrap this up, shall we? So we're not wrapping it up because I'm introducing the project. Hi, how are you? If you want, pop in the comments before we even get started how long you think this all took because I will tell you from start to finish how long it took me to dye the flowers. We did some airbrushing as well as, oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. I forgot to put the hydrangeas out here. We also did some hand painting detail, some dip dye, just a little bit of everything because this is an important, very special order for us and I wanted to do like everything that I could possibly do um, over the top. So, <laughs> did a little bit of everything. So, if you wanna guess in the comments how long it took us to dye the flowers and get all the greenery prepped, Pop them in the comments, I would love to hear. And at the end of the video, I think we'll, we'll have some answers for you. Okay, so one thing to note about this, it's gonna be a lot of sped up because otherwise this would be the longest video that we've ever put out. And I don't, I don't think you wanna sit and watch me dye them for that many. I don't wanna give you any giveaways, but it took a while. <laughs> All right, enough of me chit-chatting. Seriously now, we'll, we'll jump right into the tutorial. All right, so let's just break this down a little bit for you guys. These flowers all here are going to be a light purple. And this color is a purple heather by Crema Coat. These flowers right here in the back, right here, these are all going to be airbrushed. Um, these are our Lux flowers, and this particular style, it's a mix of Blanche and Tea Roses. They too tend to uncurl when you dip dye them, so we're gonna airbrush those. So we'll show you how to do that all sped up in just a little bit. This pile right here is going to be a little bit of a darker purple shade, and this is Frosted Plum by Deco Art Americana. Then we get a really dark color. I've got right here Eggplant by Folk Art. And then I also grabbed a little bit of Purple Pansy by Apple Barrel to darken it up even more. And I'm going to dip dye some hydrangeas that we're going to take apart, as well as a couple American Beauties to sprinkle throughout the project. Then I have one hydrangea that I'm going to hand paint and I'm going to use the color Gentle Violet by Folk Art. And then this back corner over here, there was a slight change with some of the colors of the um, bridesmaids dresses and so we needed to add in a mulberry so I grabbed mulberry this is from deco art Americana we are going to hand paint a hydrangea and then take it apart as well as dye just a few sprinkled of the same flowers that we're using for the rest of this project so now let's get to the fun part let's get our hands messy and let's dye a ton of flowers ready to go. We did darken up the purple quite a bit. Um, hopefully you caught what we were doing, but I added a little bit of black um, and a couple other purples to get the deep purple that I wanted for this particular wedding bouquet. 
Now we're just gonna dye all these flowers. I'm gonna do a lot of dip dyeing, but I'm also gonna be doing some hand painted details on some of them. And then we are gonna bust out my spray tent and we're going to airbrush some as well. So for right now, I think we're just gonna speed this all up. I'm gonna crank the tunes, but they're copyrighted, so I can't play them for you. We're gonna speed this all up. I'm gonna dye a whole bunch of flowers and maybe we'll time this. I think that's a good idea. Let's time how long it takes me to dye all the flowers I want for this particular project. Okay, on your marks, get set, go! For bigger roses that need to go upside down and they don't fit in an egg carton, I use like a cup and pop them in so the petals don't uncurl. I think we're done with dip dyeing. So now we're gonna bust out the airbrush and get working on that. Ready for the most satisfying sound. I don't know what it is about unlocking latches, but I love that sound. All right, so here's my little fun airbrush kit. I'm going to just grab out, I think we're only gonna be doing two colors. Um, we're gonna do a light purple for all of the blanches and then the tea roses we're going to do that mulberry color. I fell in love with that while we were dip dyeing. I didn't think I was gonna use it a ton, but um, I need more of that in my life. And I think so does the bride in this situation. Hopefully she agrees with me. Um, and if not, I'll take those out and I'll use them for another project. All right, so I've got some stir sticks. Need my airbrush. I'm using master brush model. S68, and I just broke the case. Lovely. That out. This out. This all away. I think that's all I need out of this case for right now. 
Got my airbrush cleaner. Got my airbrush medium. And my handy dandy air compressor. This is gonna get really loud, so we're gonna speed up this process too. If you wanna learn all about how to airbrush flowers, make sure to check out our other tutorial. We'll make sure to drop it in the description for right now. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get to making. I'm gonna get to airbrushing. That's what I'm gonna get to doing. All right, let's, let's roll this. Thing I should note is the light purple I felt was too dark for what I want for the airbrush so I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to tone it down this is actually oyster white so it's got a little like yellow undertone to it consistency for the paint to airbrush medium if you're using it, it is like milk. It's the best way to describe it. Don't have a, like a one-to-one -one ratio or things like that. I've never actually full-on scientifically measured it, but you want it nice and thinned out. airbrush out of the blue it stopped working and all it does is bubble as it's trying to siphon up the paint so instead of me messing around with it even longer I'm gonna fully clean it um, afterwards and then fingers crossed hope it works again so I'm busted out another airbrush this one seems to be working okay uh, so we're gonna keep going and fingers crossed there's no other issue so that definitely delayed how long normally it would take to prep all of the dyeing Guys, I still have all of the stemming of the greenery to do for this tutorial. It's gonna be a long night, y'all, long night. dyed all of the flowers I think that I'm gonna need um, I'm gonna look over them a little bit further I might dye a few more tomorrow morning um, in the meantime I'm gonna let these all dry for 24 hours the ones that I just airbrushed oh my gosh talk about problems with the airbrush but we, we pushed through we got them done um, the ones with the airbrush are basically dry already they dry almost instantly to the touch so those are good to go all of the dip dyed ones we're gonna let dry for 24 hours overnight and then we'll stem those all up. In the meantime, I am going to work on prepping all of the greenery for all of the bouquets and boutonnieres. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, you guys, so I took a break in between finishing the dye and the flowers. I, gotta, I had to feed my kids, feed myself, all that fun stuff. So now we are at just shy of seven o'clock at night. My husband is gonna put the kids to bed. So we're gonna bust this all out 
It's 6.54, so let's see how long it's gonna take us to stem up a ton of this greenery. I like to do this beforehand and not in the middle of the process. So I'm going to clip different wires, stem a couple things, and just kind of go through all of it. In the last video we showed you the greenery that I was gonna be working with. I did find a couple other pieces just randomly um, right before we started working on this. And this beautiful like dark, Kind of purplish burgundy which i think is going to work really well with this color scheme um, since she needed some darker um, mulberry kind of colors so i think that's going to work really well i still don't know if we're going to be able to use that one um, but we're going to stem that up a little bit more individually all right glue gun is on it's warmed up i've got a bucket load of stems if needed all right i'm going to start cranking my tunes and we're gonna we're gonna bust this out. stems the way I want them. I am going to keep the ruscus in the bushes, bunches, bushels, whatever you want to call them, the stems as is. I'm going to use these as my starting base of the bouquet and then start to add filler into it. Now things like this, I don't know if you noticed while we were speeding this up because it did go pretty fast, but we were taking off little bits of this greenery. You want to think of it similar to when you're using a fresh flower and you're stripping the, the leaves on the bottom so that you have that bare stem. So we did that with a lot of this. I took off all of the leaves on this because it was this bright yellowish green and we are definitely got more of a blue undertone for all of our greenery so that was going to stick out like a sore thumb. Um, I still am not 100% sure about this one but we have it set aside. I am going to also stem up some of them and then with the eucalyptus, uh, faux eucalyptus that we had, I took all of the leaves and I pushed them up again similar to stripping all of the bottom leaves so that you have a clear base to go off of. Alright, I'm going to set these aside and then we're going to take apart most of these and hot glue them up. Guys, that was the rest of the 
pieces of filler. The little purple guys were a pain, but we pushed through and we got through it. I also kept some extra stuff on the side just in case as we need it, um, if we need it, and if not, I'll use it in another project. I'm gonna go to bed. That, that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's break this down. It took us that long to dye all of the flowers. Now, the one thing to note is we had a malfunction of the airbrush, and that took a bunch of time in between there. So yeah, that, that took a while. Just being honest, it happens sometimes. And right now, as I'm filming this, still don't know what's wrong with the airbrush, but I will figure it out because I'm determined. But yes, it malfunctioned on me in the middle. <laughs> It happens. All right, and then for the greenery, it took me to stem them all and put them on the, to stem them, break them apart, all that fun stuff. So the greenery, it's a little bit less of a time frame. You can bust it all out, but now we are ready. We are ready, are you guys excited? We're going to build the bridal bouquet on the next tutorial. I'm like, I'm so stinking excited. All right guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was most of my day. <laughs> if you're loving these tutorials, can't get enough, want to know the next time a video goes live and this in particular series, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And you find out about the 100 plus solo style flowers we carry, as well as greenery and other craft supplies, go to ohyourlovely.com. And until next time, this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.